guys, guess what I found in the grocery store? Stuffed scallops. Oh my goodness, isn't that amazing? You know I'm not eating out and I keep on finding different things. And this was only $4.99. You get six stuffed scallops for $4.99. This is the brand. And I got it from, um, I believe it's Acme. Or, yeah, it's probably Acme. And then I went to another supermarket and got fresh beets right off the vine. Still on there. And we're going to cook this up. It's going to be beets and scallops. I will show you the finished product. And I'm going to bake these at 450 degrees for 30 minutes. See ya. In case you've never um, seen beets like this on a stalk. Uh, what I'm going to do is just cut cut it right there. I'm just going to cut it right there. Beets are really good for you. Wash it off, and then I'm going to boil it till it's soft. And cut the stem off here and boil it till it's soft. So let's go ahead and cut that off really quickly. That's cut. And then we're going to cut the stem. Just like that. Cut more of this off. Just like that. Look at how vibrant that is. Isn't that delicious looking? Look at how vibrant that is. That's going to be so good. It can tell it's so fresh. Oh, right out the ground. I love it, guys. I'm going to boil this up. I'm going to make this beat or boil this beat with the skin on. And then once it's fully soft... I'll peel the skin off and enjoy it with the stuffed scallop. So let's go ahead and start putting the stuffed scallop together since the oven has been preheated to 450 degrees. Let's see how this turns out, guys. I would say also you might want to boil your beet maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It all depends, but this is definitely just from the root, so it might take longer. Um, I'll see how long it takes and I'll give you guys an idea, but this is another, um, this is another way you can cook a meal on a budget. Remember the scallops were $4.99 and the beets, that stalk that you saw that had four beets on there, whole beets was $1.99. So that's not bad. So far the meal is a, less than $10 and I'll probably enjoy it with some water. So I lined the pan with foil. Um, maybe I'll put a little bit of, let me see what the directions say. I was going to put a little bit of oil in the back, on the bottom. Um, yeah, it doesn't say anything. So I'm not going to put any oil. So I'm going to take out our scallops. This is so cool, guys. I have never seen this before in my life. So I'm going to take out the scallops. And look at that. Isn't that cute? It's on a shell. It's on its own seashell. Very cute. We'll do two. Because I don't think that's enough to feed me. And here's the other one. So we're going to bake these two in the oven. Keep them separated. Like that. The oven is nice and hot. So we're going to set the oven for 30 minutes and I can't wait to try this new item with you guys just to see what it tastes like. Uh, it's so dope. Guys, look at all of that steam coming up. Um, I had this beat boiling for like had to be about 45 minutes and as you can see my fork can go right through it so that's pretty much done it's gonna have that pinkish reddish color and now is the peel time and um that should be about it now i recommend when you make a beet you pour out the water and wash whatever uh whatever cookware you were using it in because this thing will stain up your pots, your pans, everything. So I'm going to take this out, 
peel it and then we're gonna plate up these shells I had the shells on for probably 45 minutes or more because you know I don't like raw nothing I like my food well done cooked and dead you know what I'm saying even if it's already dead <laughs> all right let's see what it looks like the final plate guys this beat is hot like fire and I'm just peeling it look at that beautiful red color Look at that beautiful red color. Woo-wee! Burning my fingers off. You see how the skin is just peeling right off? <sighs> yeah. This is that can't wait attitude. <laughs> what a... I just want to eat it now. I do not recommend doing this straight out the pot. Let it cool off for a minute or two. But that's the beet right there. Peeled. Ready to be enjoyed. I'm going to slice it right here too because I want to keep it. Oh, let me wash this off real quick in case there's any skin on there. But do you see? Look at how it stained my fingers. Those are not burn marks. These are just stains from the beets. <laughs> from the beet. So we're going to go ahead and slice this. Look at how it's cutting nicely. Very nice. Ooh -wee. Try not to cut the plate either. And then after this, I'm, a, I'm going to immediately wash my hands and this plate and move it into the plate that I will be serving this meal in so that you can see what it looks like already set up. No method, because this is still very hot. As you can see, all that steam rising. Oh boy. All right, let's get this plated. All right, guys, here you have it. We have our boiled beet. Let me bring it closer to you so you can see that. Oops, we have our boiled beet. And then we also have our stuffed scallops, which is which are trying to run off the plate. But no, ma'am, no, sir, you will be staying right there. There's only one last destination. And that's in my tum-tum, yes. So let's try this. Now, just so you know, I did not... Um, I did not put any salt on the beets because usually beets are very sweet on their own. Look at how that cut through super nice. Want to try? Come on, try this. There you go. Mmm. That's pretty good. Now let's try this scallop. Looks like there's a lot of breading on there. And remember, guys, this is a meal that is under $10. Mm. Let's see. Tastes good. Where's the scallop? There it is. Mmm. Looks good, right? Guys, this is good. You can eat gourmet food. You can eat gourmet meals less than $10. For less than $10. This is very good, guys. Mm-hmm. What I also did, too, I, um... I went ahead and put some oil on top of the stuffed scallops because it seemed like it was drying up. So I just went ahead and did that. But this is good. Very good. And the shell isn't even hot. Here. 
have some stuffed scallops on me. Mm -hmm. Well, that about wraps it up for me. Um, I enjoy these delicate meals on a budget. I hope you're liking these videos that I'm posting, giving you meal ideas. If you are truly not trying to eat out um, due to, you know, the condition of our world right now, um, there are options and you can make them very good. All right. So this is Joy from Be The Difference Clothing signing out on another mini cooking type meal option prep on a budget. <laughs> All right. See you guys soon.